Hello, Virgos. This is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what we've got, guys. We have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Getting away. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Hmm. Maybe taking some time to yourselves to just kind of, you know, just enjoy each other and um, be open and honest with each other. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Hmm. Smelling the roses. Let's see what else we have for you guys. What Tarot has to say. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Virgo for today? The Nine of Wands. Hmm. I, I'm feeling like you guys feel like you need some time to yourselves, actually. Um, just kind of taking a break from all the craziness that has been going on in your life. Things that you felt like, uh, you know, were kind of tying you down. Was burdening you. Getting on your nerves, that sort of thing. Maybe a Sagittarius individual that you guys are kind of stepping away from. Just kind of taking a leap to, like, do what's best for you. Is what I'm getting here. Some of you are actually deciding to get back with someone. And um, you guys are planning a getaway here. Deciding that this is what you want. And um, wanting to be with an individual, I feel here. Sagittarius, Aries individual. The Knight of Cups. And going, going for what you know is what I'm feeling here. Um... Maybe discussing, you know, the issues that you guys have had before and just kind of working through it. Um, basically, this is like going for what you know. You know, deciding that you can move forward. Taking that leap of faith towards whatever it is and going towards it, okay? Not allowing anything to stop you or hinder you is what I'm getting from this, okay? If this is you... Um, wanting to separate from somebody and go off by yourself that's what you're doing as well just taking a leap of faith and just doing what you feel like is good and necessary for you okay waiting on something better for you is what I'm getting from this guys okay and I think you're determined to get what you feel like you deserve but you know at the same time don't sit home and think that it's going to come knocking on your door. It could possibly, but I think for a lot of you, you're going to have to get out, okay? Strong Aries, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius energies here. I feel like um, you guys have to make yourself available, okay? Let's see what else we got for Virgos. We have the Eight of Wands there. Want to move, want to communicate. Um... Wanting to see some change, I feel. Even a change of scenery for a lot of you guys. Maybe going on cruises or, you know, going to Paris even, I feel, for some of you. Let's see. Or planning to. Italy. Five of Wands there. Hmm. I think a lot of you guys have been in a situation with someone where there has been a lot of tension. Okay. And I think that right now you're just, it's like you, you feel like you need to remove yourself. You need to get away from that. Remove yourself from the conflict. And if it calls for a separation, then that's what you guys, I feel, are doing. You feel like that's what's necessary for you to be happy. Hmm. Then we have the Five of Cups. There's some conflict here. Um, and I'm thinking that Strong Scorpio is here. I think you're sad or somebody here is sad. You guys have gotten into it. Um, and you're not agreeing 
on things. You're not seeing eye to eye. And there's somebody here that feels like, you know, this, this situation cannot be resolved. Okay. That there is no other choice in this situation but to move on, to, to, to go on um, away from this situation and go towards something else. There's something out there better for you, better suited for you even. Okay. Or somebody else is feeling this way. Two of Wands there. Yeah. There's been lots of conflict. And I feel like um, you, you guys are just tired. You're tired of the conflict that, that you have endured. You're tired of being involved in situations where you don't, you're not on the same page, you don't see eye to eye, um, and you're just wanting to be happy, I feel, okay? Um, but I feel this, this is a need for you guys to, before you choose to do, make any kind of rash decisions, then um, I think there's a conversation that needs to be had between you and someone else. If this is a situation where you guys are still together, there's a need for you to have a, a conversation, an open and honest conversation with another individual about what it is that you guys um, want, what you expect, what you need. And, um, and, and don't allow the other individual to change your, change your course of action. Or persuade you to do something that you're not comfortable doing. That you feel like is not going to make you happy. I feel strong Scorpio um, energy here. Aries is here. Leo Sagittarius is here as well. Okay. Um, but there's definitely, I think you've been down for a while. Um, you felt sad for a while. And I think now it's like you guys have this newfound interest in, in life, honestly. Okay. Let's see. But somebody else here is not going to be happy with this. Somebody wants to stop you from moving on. Hmm. I, I'm feeling like there's like this three party situation going on currently. And it may not be anything serious, okay? But um, it's something like dating or, you know, just talking to someone on the phone, whether it's you or the other person. But this other person definitely wants to, they want to, you know, reconnect with you. Whether you guys are together or apart, they really want to reconnect with you because there's something that has been lost here. Okay, um, communication is is um, not here. Nobody is actually talking in this situation, rationalizing, reasoning that that's not going on here. Um, just emotions and actions, like you know. So um, there's a need to communicate. For sure with the heart to heart conversations but um there's definitely somebody here that i feel is is spending their time elsewhere whether it's i don't think it's serious though i think it's more like talking on the phone like i said um you know maybe flirting a little bit here and there to make themselves feel better feel good what ha what have you i'm not saying that it's right but that's what i see okay um but at the same time, they want to reconnect. They want to reconnect with you. Or you want to reconnect with them. And then on the other hand, it's like, you know, it, it's like this pool. You know, should I wait for something else? Should I look for something else? Or should I, you know, be with this person? They do make me happy. We do have some good times together. But, mm, you know, that, that kind of energy. I feel like there is definitely um, an attraction between the two of you but i almost feel like it's fleeting for whatever reason i feel like it's fleeting i feel like you know you guys probably feel there's something better out there for you okay 
Mm. If you guys are still with this person, I definitely see that there is um, there is some conflict, or more conflict arising, and I definitely see um, that there is a um, there's a breakup here for some of you. Okay. There's a breakup here and a new start for you guys is on the horizon. Okay. For some of you, if you're in separation with this person, um, I, I feel like you guys will definitely get to a point where you can have a conversation and get back together, start anew after a breakup. Okay. But if you're already with this person, I definitely see there is a breakup on the horizon and um, you guys decided to start over. Okay, guys. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, um, Sagittarius, Leo energy is here. All right, guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.